right, guys, there it is. It's been, uh, all the clear coat's been taken off, scrubbed down. I know it looks pretty dark. Let me see if I can get some more light on it. Well, but anyway, this was the, uh, the flip part that I showed in the other one that was really bad. And I've got it stripped down to the, of the other wood. And now I have washed it with, uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid. And, uh, got everything off from it and it's still a little wet so I'm waiting for it to dry now so it should be dry by morning and then we'll get started on what I'm showing you we're gonna do with it alright guys here's the table uh, it's been uh, washed down real good with Dawn dishwashing soap to get out anything loose all of that now what I've done is I've gathered a bunch of uh, printed out a bunch of cooking covers and then I burn the edges of them and I've got a ton of vintage all kinds of vintage recipes that I have saved over the years I've got a lot of them from packaging I've got a lot of hand written ones from families and stuff from just over the years so what I'm going to do is we're going to take this and I've got some uh, uh, Mod Podge glue here and we're going to start putting these down no particular order Make sure you get every little corner because you do not want this peeling up on the edges when you get ready to seal it into the table. We're going to start this one over here. So we're just going to put it on there. And then I got a sponge here that I'm just going to spread it out, wipe it down real good. Now I'm only going to do a few of these at a time because that way I can keep better eye on them that they're not curling up on me and stuff as they're drying what this is going to be is a prep table and I'm going to put all the old recipes that I can find on it like how to make homemade biscuits and how to do um, chilies or just everyday regular foods that we have used through the years most of all my recipes come from early 80s to early 90s I really don't have any new ones they come from family members a lot of them I got from my grandmother before she passed so I just printed them out and then we're gonna do it like this. And it's just wonderful. Here's one for uh, spaghetti salad. Never had spaghetti salad, but heck, I'll try anything. But uh, I'm just trying to keep it like down home sensible recipes you know like everyday stuff that you can find or you use every day not something like I've always said and you guys have heard me say it I'm not into recipes that you have to fly all over the damn world to get different ingredients to go in it if I can't find it in my own kitchen or at my own local store I'm not making it where the crease is in the table what I'm doing is adding like old cookbook covers besides the recipes now if I want to put like one of the old cookbook covers where the leaf flips up I'll show you how I'm gonna do that okay so what I do is I'm gonna put it where 
Hang on just a minute, I'll show you how I'm doing this. After this dries, I will take a knife and go in the groove and I will cut it down through here. And then I'll glue the edges down real good. So when you lift the lid or lower the lift, lower the leaf, the bottom part of the cookbook part cover will be on the leaf. And if you want to see the whole thing, you just lift the lift the lid, lift the leaf. I don't know why I keep saying lid. Lift the leaf and put it in place, and it brings the cookbook cover back together. All right, so we're just going to go over this whole thing. And like I said, they're not going to be put in any specific order, anything like that. It's not going to be like cookbook, recipe, cookbook, recipe. I'm just putting them wherever I want to. And as we put this, I will turn the table. That way everything doesn't come out like in a straight line because I just want the whole thing covered. And that's trying really hard to not get an overwhelming amount of sweet recipes, cookies, cakes, stuff like that. I was trying to stay away from so many of those because I didn't want the whole table just done in cookies and cakes. I wanted a mixer because, so, you know, I want people to be able to use this table. It's going to have basic cornbread, how to make cornbread, basic how to make biscuits, um, basic chili, just meatloaf and stuff like that. You know, basic everyday stuff, pie crust and all of that. I don't want to rub, rub, rub too much because this is ink print, done on an inkjet printer which that ink does smear really easy. All right, guys, I've gotten this far with it. I've got a couple more to put here and then scrub them down. But this is putting them on there and then putting a coat of uh, Mod Podge over it. There's some that hasn't dried yet. And then what I have to do is uh, I gotta wait for this to dry. Then I gotta put a spray clear coat over it. I wipe it all down again, clean it up again. Then I put a spray clear coat over it. Let that dry for a day or two. Then I go in and put a like a really thick floor polyurethane on there. Let that dry a couple of days and then put another coat. That way the table doesn't get scratched up and no moisture can get under it. And then the very last video I will explain what these tables were made for and why. Look at that, handwritten recipes. Isn't that cool? That is butter cake. There's one for lemon pie. Uh, wild lettuce salad. I tried to put on a bit of everything like pumpkin cookies. Uh, mom's zucchini bread i put biscuits i put uh, sausage gravy chili fried chicken all of that stuff on here basic recipes because they're going to be on here for a very very long time once i glass seal them in all right i hope you guys stick with me for the next video coming up in a few days